You walk every day, not so? Every day, every day. Okay. I walk about, come on the beach, go down. Okay. And Where do you walk to? To Harveyville. Harveyville. Yeah. And back? Yeah. How long does it take you? Uh, just a few minutes. Okay, 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 okay. And why are you walking every day? Well, just to keep my body. Keep your body going? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I understand that you are a mariner. And you, that you used to work in the, on the boats and things? Yeah. Do you build boats? Yeah. You build them? No. No. My uncle, Carnute. Who is your uncle? His name is Carnute. Okay. Charles, but he died. Okay. Yeah. So he used to build the boats? Build boats, yeah. He built many boats and sell, you know. I give him the material I bring from Geneva and he build and sell. And we keep going. Okay. And he come and take him and he died. All right. So what did you do on the boat? Well, let's walk the boat. No, I mean on the boat when you were working on the boat. Oh, oh I had seen. You did what? Yeah, I had seen where you catch a lot of fish. Okay. Catch it and catch a lot of fish and put the green so come back. Spend the day there and come back the next day. Where did you go fishing? Right here. Where? My boy here. My boy Okay, 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 okay. I had a seen big thing. Mm-hmm. Cast from trying to catch six, seven boats of jacks. Okay. So how long did you do that? The fishing? Just a couple of minutes. Yeah, but I mean how many years? Oh. 20 years. 20 years? Yeah, because oh. I walk with the area head. And then he die out and I come and work for myself. Okay. So how long you work for yourself? Well, I work for my years. 20 years. Okay. 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 So how old are you now? 83. 83? Yeah. Somebody tell me you're 90 something. No. 83. Sure. When your birthday? What day? Christmas time. Christmas time. Yeah. Okay, so you're a Christmas baby. Yeah. All right. So happy birthday. Whenever it comes. Okay. Yeah. So my husband told me to ask you, what is the best boat you ever seen? The best boat in your opinion? Yeah, yeah. They call it the squad. Squad. Yeah. I go to Trinidad and race a win. I go to uh, Tobago. I win, so the, 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 the people, they used to call me the squad. No boat come here and be in our race. So you used to be in the um, regatta? Yeah. So how is the regatta different now? Uh, nobody take it over. So he, I've been here sometimes, tell us from Union, come and race. Here yeah, you see, you notice. Okay. Well, long ago we had race every regatta. Okay. Would come from Canaman, St. Vincent, Bakeway, and come here and race, and from Grenada and race as well. Right. And then we go to Grenada and race, come back to Caracol, go to Trinidad and race. Wow. Now, now them younger guys are doing it. Why, why do you think they don't race like that? Well, they don't particular. Because um, long ago, the government make a day at the race and they pay our boatmen a wage. Hmm. But now we can have that. Okay, so they stopped paying the wage, so yeah. now it's not the same. Yeah. Uh -huh. Long ago, uh, my boats and them used to be lower down down there. I had two boats, they had one, they had one, they call it the police squad. Of course it's fast. I bought that from Big Way. And then I uh, had a doctor here, me and he used to go along very nice. We call him Showman, Dr. Showman. Dr. Showman? Yeah. Okay. And he bring me nylon seal from from uh, in America. Okay. 
and curries and so on. And nobody had this kind of seal. Huh. So, so you were the first to have this nylon sail? And then to go out, can I want to yes. business man in English and then go to Trinidad. Yeah. I went to, to Venezuela and all in English. Venezuela. Yeah. So what were the sails made out of before? Yeah. They weren't nylon, they were cotton? No, no. Uh, cotton, cotton. Cotton, okay. Cotton okay. But after that, uh, after Schumann came, and walk here, mm -hmm. and me and him pick up a friend, and then he brought me an iron seal from America. Right. Do you make Do you make nets also? Do you know how to weave a net? Yeah, I have nets. Do you? I have nets and recent boots. Okay. I have mm -hmm. nets that traps and tie fish. Yeah. You ship in today. Yes. To do the last, then you ship the next day. Yeah. And both come back and you share with people again. I'm dipping in to say that Mr. Sonnell was the same man around here. Yeah, that's From right. my childhood, that's how I remember you. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and I don't know where the story started, um, Margaret, when you started talking to Mr. Sonnell, but I have spoken to Mr. Sonnell in the past and um, we've spoken about when you st first started as a sailor, as a young yeah, boy, yeah, you remember as a shipmate. Yes, you yes. Remember yes. Yeah, so re remind me the name of the boat that you started on. Yeah, uh, squad. It, it was a squad. It, yeah, yes. A girl in Trinidad and Reese and Winrace to Bego. And the squad was owned by somebody here in Caracol? Yeah. Yes. It was mine. Oh, it was your boat? Yeah. Yeah, but when you first started as a young boy, do you remember whose boat you started with, sailing yes. on? Yes, Mr. Phil and Joseph. Mr. Phil and, Phil yeah. and Joseph? Yeah. Do you remember the name of his boat? Yeah, Experience. Experience? Yes. And your job was what? My boat was the squad. Yes, your boat was the squad, but when you started on Experience, yeah. as a very young sailor, what was your job? What, yeah, what was your first job? Well, what um, did you used to do on, was it a shipmate I think you told me? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, it was a mission, just a little principal life. Yeah. And something to follow the morning on iron stuff. Oh, yes, I remember you told me. So you left from that first boat to the other boat. Yeah. Yeah. And then I go on the Right, right. I work very hard. I used to work from the other between the guard and down to Venezuela. And to Guyana, I think. Guyana. You told me that Venezuela. you all used to go and collect rice. Rice and come, bring rice for the big shop owners. Right. Yeah. Buy the rice, you give the money, you buy the rice. Yes. You bring it, and yes. <coughs> they pay you the fish. Right. Oh, you bring the rice and they pay with fish? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so fish was currency. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then I used to have fish tie for weeks. Yeah. And, and then I take out when I want and sell when people want to them and then I send to the area. When people talk about you, Mr. Sonal, they remember that you they remember you as a very generous fisherman oh, yeah, that used to give many you know, families. You see some people come on the beach, you see this and look like that. They didn't have the money to buy it. Right. So I'll give them. You would see that and you would give. Yep. I need them and so they come and call me checks. Right. Meaning what? Meaning well, I give him things. Right. When I go to Grenada, I buy mango by the basket. Yes. And I share it with all people. I mean, oh, and they men, they men, they buy the one for themselves and I buy for my wife and I buy to give the people on them. Right, right. Because when I get on the beach and I'm learning they never care or something. Yes. They bring cooking and bring food for you. Right. Because it is everybody very nice. So they come and call me checks. <laughs> but my name is Sonner. What's your full name? Sonner. Uh, yes. Your first name is? Sonner Allah. The last one? Huh? Your last name, your surname? What's your title? Alert. Oh, Alert? Yeah. Oh, you're an Alert? Yeah. A-L-L-E-R-T? Yeah. Oh, okay, Sonal Alert. Yeah. 
Okay. I thought your last name was Sarnell. Right. I thought your surname was Sarnell. I didn't understand it was your first name. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The Sarnell had seen boots racing. When people come on the day, that's why they call me Tex. There is some people come and you see the sand up like that, and you have fish. They cannot buy. Yeah. So you have to put in a basket and share. Right. For everybody. Well, people remember that about you. Yes, yeah, so they call me Tex. Yeah. <laughs> and when I sell fish, I meet you. Call you, come and take a drink. Right. I give you uh, a five dollars to both of us. Right. Buy what you want. Right, right. So you come and call me first. I don't know where in your sailing journey, but I remember you also told me that you went to England. So when do you remember when that was? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I went to England. Um, I can't remember the date now, no. But I went there and I walk. Then I come back and I marry. And I go back, I left my wife and then I get everything prepared that when she comes here, no problem. Yes, I remember you telling me, but you had to write home for your wife, didn't you? Yes. You had to write her right. parents. Yes. And did they agree? Yeah. They agreed and then you yeah, came the, down? The father, the father liked me. Right. And they tell me come and marry here. Yes, you told me. They uh, didn't want her to send her up. They wanted no. you to come back to yes, Caracol. Um, those times you didn't have car like no. No. She walk from the Catholic church. In town? Yes, and come to the, by the classes where you see the club is, you know? Crossroads? Yeah. You walk with music. Right. That was the celebration, you mean? After the, that yeah. was like the reception, what they call the reception yeah, now. That's right. All the way from Hillsborough? Yeah, down those times you didn't have uh, transport as well. No. It was only the millionaires we had the car. Right. Yeah. And after, Do you remember what year that was you got married? Was that in the 50s or in the 60s? In the 60s. In the 60s? Yes. So I got married and I came back to the girl where you know, engage her. No. She had a job. Parents, yes, and your parents, a chaperone. Yeah. You have to talk to her in the company of her parents or yeah. some other big person. Yeah. Yeah. That's not no, no, no. not it. <laughs> <laughs> what are they doing now? No, what you see them doing now? Tell me, well, galaxy boys, <laughs> <laughs> girls get impatient, <laughs> yeah. they're in a rush, yeah, they want to time, do. You have to write them for a girl, and when you're talking to her, you have to talk with her with, with she Right. Yeah. So after you got married, you went back to the UK, yeah. and your wife stayed here, yeah. and you must have sent you sent for her when you got back to the UK. Yes, I sent for her. How did she um, how did she like the place when she arrived? How did she had liked it very she much. She liked it. Yeah. Where was she from? She's right from here. Oh, she's already from here? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. She's okay. mother, father, mm -hmm. from here. Okay. <laughs> in those days, you have to engage the girls you want to come. You see her and you like her, you have to tell your mother. And your mother will get to sheep parents, and they have the talk on them. On Sunday, you go by she and sit down a little. In general, buy drink, drink, and when you don't go. And was she from this village, from Leicester yeah. Village? Yeah. Or her parents? She her and more is from, from this village. Yeah. She's still alive. She lives in Ireland. Okay. Here in Canada. Go! This is what we call verbal history, I suppose, that we're speaking and you're telling us your story and we appreciate the time that, that you're giving to us. Oh dear, the dog is having a quarrel with somebody else. <laughs> I do need that. I don't know. I don't know.